As a photographer, I didn't want to just be about the technicalities. I, I wanted to bring the art element into it. And I found that doing it underwater transformed it into being just a, a whole different feeling. A lot of the work is actually in the preparation, like what is possible underwater and uh, how do I make that happen? And that is a process of testing. I find that for me, it wasn't enough just to be a commercial photographer. I found that there was a part of me that was also an artist. Um, and my medium is photography, but that doesn't necessarily just mean that it's about snapping. Uh, there's a process to it that I've spoken a little bit about, and it's about the prep work, and it's about the vision. It's not about turning up to a place and shooting what's there, it's about creating that place that you're going to shoot, which is what my work is, and that is the art. I found that when I've been in galleries, I've been one of the few or if not the only photographer in there. I think Australia is a little bit slow when it comes to accepting photography in a traditional art realm. And I'm hoping that over the next few years, Australia really catches up with recognising photography equal to other fine artists. For me, doing, say, the Imaginarium series, that struck something in me where I was so excited about what it was. And people relate to stories that are fairy tales that they did know when they were kids. And some of my artwork, you'll see it's got a bit of a darker edge, but it still has that romanticism in it. And then some of the works are really bright and colorful and that diversity is good, but it still fits in a style. And it gives me a lot of area to move when I can do both but it can still look like Beth Mitchell.